Hi everybody, since many people were asking for more touch technique, here is a new one. Actually, it's a song of mine, which first I'm going to play for you. And it's from the Red series, and um, I hope you enjoy it. It's not too hard to play, but still hard enough. I need to concentrate now. <laughs> but I managed it without too many mistakes. If you think I never make mistakes, I make many. I just keep on smiling, that's a trick. There were not too many mistakes, <laughs> actually none. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's his explanation for this the chord. Um, since um, this is an advanced technique, I will not really explain everything to the very basics. It's um, because I mean, if you if this is not for total beginners, as you might can imagine, I mean, you, you need to have your things a little bit together, and then you are ready for this. This is G main G minor. Actually, G minor, we play G minor, C minor, and D7, or in the inversion with uh, D with F sharp in the bass. We start with this single, with this single um, note uh, tapping thingy with the open D string. It's a little bit tricky because you have to start with the open six, you have to attack with the right hand, and then you start G minor. To D7, back to G minor, now we move uh, to the next, um, uh, I say, string, C minor, back to G minor, to D7. You can also make some movement here up in the G minor scale. Now comes the harder part here with the bass. Now you, this is a trick. You have the open D string and now comes the bass. I love that one here. Same thing with C minor. You can make it as long as you want. And then comes the next part, then comes a little soloing. C 
minor, just a normal phrasing below we would have C minor chord. To G minor, to D7, D with the F sharp in the bass. Very nice actually. You can also make more soloing. And back to G minor. Now we ended up here on the with this little um, thing with the with the with the chord. This is actually again C minor, third, fifth here, tap in the chord. Oh god, I have to stay in position in the camera. That's so hard playing nicely and staying in position. You have no Im imagination how much I suffer for you. <laughs> See? G minor. D. Now on D we stop. And now comes the end phrase. G minor, and here we play a G minor arpeggio. And up here in the 15th on the G minor. Yes, this was this little red touch technique thing. You can imagine I was playing like this before, totally uncomfortable. And it's uh, actually because I don't have a cameraman, I would love to have one, but nobody pays me enough that I can afford a cameraman. Um, <laughs> then I could really play um, nicely because um, I always have to watch the monitor. And uh, on a concert, I really can con I really can focus on the music, and then everything works fine. But here's is, uh, please save me money for the cameraman. <laughs> um, but the, the Swiss camera people they are too expensive. You cannot believe what they want for. If you if you were you from outside Swiss, you have no idea how much these people want for stupid work, which you could do. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, that was Touch Technique tutorial and I hope you got some inspiration on that one. As I said, um, Touch Technique is an advanced technique and if you don't have your things together, really the basics on the guitar, I don't think you have any chance to um, play it. Um, there is a beginner's Touch Technique tutorial somewhere on my channel uh, or my website. Um, if you're totally new to Touch Technique, first go to that one, practice that one maybe for at least three months, <coughs> maybe six, and then you're and, uh, ready for more advanced techniques, such as this one. And since uh, many were asking for this, they will come, I will make a lot of more in the, f in the near future. But till now, I just thought, uh, I mean, most people don't manage the basics. So, um, because you really have to be stubborn like hell because this stuff is so so demanding and boring at the beginning it to really get it once you have it it really starts to make fun yeah stuff like this good enjoy it and see you next time yeah.